Shopping. Now, over to Tim at the Mastercraft Kitchen. What ice cream flavour have you invented, or is there any you've tried, Tim? Yeah, haven't invented too many interesting ones, but tried uh, in Melbourne earlier this year, oyster ice cream. Ugh. Sounds disgusting. Oh, it was actually beautiful. Uh, served in an oyster shell with with a bit of caviar. It sounds posh, doesn't it? Yeah. But it was, yeah. it was beautiful. Oh, wow. oh, nice. Oh, you can keep that one. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing today? Uh, today I'm making crumpets. Uh, and you might think to yourself, why the heck are you making something I can get for a dollar at the supermarket? <laughs> yeah. um, but I'm a big fan of knowing exactly where everything's come from, and that's the beauty of this recipe. There's no preservatives. Uh, you know exactly what's gone in there because you've done it yourself. It does take a little bit of time, but if you're patient, it's good. Uh, so let's crack into it. I've got some warm milk, which we're going to mix in there. And this is creating a bit of a yeast mixture, which is our first lot of proving. Now, proving is just a flash word for keeping something in a warm place, and that way the uh, the dough starts to aerate and gets light and fluffy because we all know crumpets have that lo lovely bubbly texture on top. I've got some uh, yeast and a little bit of sugar, and now that activates the yeast. And if we stir that, and we've got to leave it somewhere warm, a nice warm studio. If you don't have one of those at home, <laughs> chuck it in a microwave. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm pleased you're showing us this because I have no idea what a crumpet is made of, so now I know. Yeah, yep. Well, it's it's coming back in popu into popularity, and a few cafes are starting to make it themselves these days. Um, so I thought I'd give it a nudge too. And that's flour and a little bit of salt. And uh, and once this is rested, come quite foamy, what we're just going to do is pour it in there, mix it together, make our dough, and we'll leave that to sit for about half an hour until it doubles in volume and uh, and come back to me then and I'll show you the rest of it. OK, we're in the Mastercraft kitchen. We're making crumpets today. This is good, Tim, because I quite like my crumpet, but I've never known what it's made of. So, yes, yeah, what we're going to learn today. Absolutely. And the ones we get from the supermarket are often quite rubbery and things mm -hmm. like that, which you just know are filled with preservatives. So this way, we're, right. uh, we're able to control it. And that's a good thing, because everyone is really, you know, concerned about what is going into their body. So this way, you get to control it. And you wait till you see what we're going to do soon. Uh, so how's the proof? Proving? Yes, they're How's proving. Yep. Yeah, well, we've got it under the tea towel here, and you'll see that already in the last, what, 15 minutes? Yep. Yeah, we're already getting quite uh, an enlarged dough. And this is one I did earlier. Okay. Through the magic of TV. We'll put this one away. So, how long do you roughly have to keep it sort of proving for? Well, we're lucky in the studio here. It's quite nice and warm, so right. about half an hour will do. Okay. Uh, but yesterday, when I was doing it at home, my kitchen was quite cold. I had to leave it in the microwave for about an hour. Right, okay. Um, I generally allow the size of the dough to dictate how long I'll leave it. We want it to about double okay. uh, rather than time period. And was it room temperature the microwave or did you give it a quick wing? Well, I, what I did was I, I put it on for 10, 15 seconds and yes. that warms up the microwave and then I popped it in there. So there you go, another if tip. you have it too hot, then you can kill the yeast. Okay, nice. Yeah. Right, so that's ready to be mixed up now. Yeah, this absolutely. is quite the fascinating part. What are we doing? Yeah, so this is all lovely and soft and aerated. You can see it. Uh, oh, yeah. It, yeah. All right? Good. But we just need to do another step, which will uh, lighten it up even further. All right? So okay. this is just a little bit more water. Right. <coughs> OK. And we're adding baking soda, which we all know, like what you do with vinegar, if, you, uh, if you're able to activate it, then it foams up quite a lot. OK. And what we're doing, we're simply mixing it until it all dissolves. Right. Looks like clear water again. Yep. And then that goes in here. OK, well, it's scary because it's like you're going to ruin it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and and uh, the, good, the good thing to know is that it actually takes a while to mix in. So okay. it is like I've just ruined dough. And if anyone's watching at home and think <laughs> I've ruined it, trust me, I haven't. Um, but this is halfway actually probably between a dough uh, and almost like a pancake mix. Oh, nice. Yeah, right, because cool we're going to okay, be... cool. Remember that. Yeah, we're going to be chucking it in the fry pan. So we want it to be runny and be able to be poured. OK. All right. So nice. I'll just mix this. And it does take a while and a little bit of effort. I'm getting my sweat on. Well, where did crumpets originate from, do you know? No. No, no I don't now? expect no, questions Someone like Google that, that please. <laughs> 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 I put you on the spot there, didn't I? Sorry. All right. So, okay, so I can see that texture we're looking for now. Yeah, nice and running. This is this yeah. Is good. Okay. All right. And then again, we're going to leave that for about half an hour. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that one is fine for just half an hour. It doesn't matter about the temperature. Um, and again, that just allows it to fluff up and create some air bubbles. Now, again, I've done another one. Okay, right. nice. I've just found out in my ear too, um, from England is where they came from. Oh, there we in go. In 1382, they started. My goodness. That's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time ago. <laughs> I wasn't around then. 
Okay, um, so this is all that yeah. mixture that's so been you'll, left. So you'll see it, it's quite liquidy, like yeah. jelly. It got a wobble, yeah. Yep. And if I put my spoon in there, yeah, I should yeah. be able to pour it in to a mould, right? Mm -hmm. And that's basically it. Yeah. Okay. So if you come back later, I'll start cooking a few, and uh, and I'll show you the cooking process when you come back. How'd your crumpets turn out? Yeah, crumpets are finishing well. Uh, I've made a few here, and I just thought I'd show you the, uh, the final cooking process. So uh, if we look at this one here, you start to see that I've just cooked it uh, all on one side, and you start to get the, the classic crumpet bubbles through, and, uh, and that's when you know it's cooked. You want to cook it completely on one side and then just flip it over and brown it on the, uh, on the end there. Do you, how high do you have your temperature? I've got it really low uh, for that reason that we can leave it on one side because if we had it quite high and kept it on this one side, then we'd get the black bottoms, but we want the nice brown bottoms there. What are you using to make it all round and nice? Oh yeah, well, I'm using these little egg moulds that you use to poach eggs and things like that. Uh, you can get them mm. for, for about $5. Eggs? Uh, yeah, and so basically you just whack it in a pan, I buttered it, and you want to pour some mixture into there and spread it around to the edges. And nice. then they turn out, Life. if I left that one, like this. Ah. Oh. All right. Yeah, they smell so incredible. So you, you get some toppings on that one for us. Yeah. Well, do you them. like Nutella or cream cheese? Cream um, cheese for me. Nutella, please for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like putting in an you order. Can, you could yeah. bring it over here. We could do that ourselves. I guess we could probably put our own toppings on. <laughs> All right. I'll come on over. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. You bring oh, it all over. We can I make them. I might want jam and cream cheese. I might have just changed my mind then. <laughs> it looks can't really wait. good. Okay. Can't wait to try these. Actually, you're going to be back again next week. You're doing a great job, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Thank you, you Mark. Thank uh, you. What are you doing next week? Well, it's Red Puppy Bicky Day next week, and so I thought I'd make dog biscuits. Nice. <laughs> oh, I just so want to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> have yourselves a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to our awesome audience yeah. as well. We will see you all again next week. Goodbye. Yeah.